It's another huge step in our goal to make Washington the healthiest state in the nation. A report just released by the United Health Foundation ranks Washington 12th in this year's healthiest state rankings. That's up three spots from a year ago. I think it's really exciting news. We've worked so hard in this campaign to try to make a difference and people have wondered whether we're really just doing it to make a statement or really to make us the healthiest state and we're on our way. No other state in the top 12 made as big a jump in the rankings this year as Washington. And Washington was singled out as one of the five most improved states overall. Low smoking rates, a drop in childhood poverty rates, and improving high school graduation rates were among Washington's strengths. This news coming on the heels of the Washington Health Foundation's most successful Governor's Health Bowl ever. 35,000 people, 989 organizations, and 357 schools combined to log more than 5 million miles of health in just six weeks, double what we accomplished just a year ago. It's sometimes hard for all the people and the organizations involved in our campaign to see how it's really going to make a difference, but the truth is it's the small things that we all do that's really going to make us the healthiest state in the nation, and the accomplishment is really theirs, not ours. <laughs> This year's healthiest state in the nation is Vermont, and it is a story from which Washington should take heart. In 1990, Vermont was 16th in state health rankings. By 2001, the state had moved up to 8th, and today, Vermont is number one. Vermont's story illustrates that it takes time to improve a state's health, but that it can be done, and Washington is doing it. Moving up to number 12 this year, a huge next step in our goal to make Washington the healthiest state in the nation.